Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm introducing another new ser series. As you saw earlier, uh, I introduced the Madden series, uh, the connected franchise with the Raiders. Well, this time I'm introducing a new one. This is going to be the Dynasty. These are just going to be kind of filler series. I'll probably upload maybe two or three of the NCAA a week, and then one to two of the Madden, uh, since you guys get your fix of Madden with uh, Ultimate Team. But uh, NCAA will be kind of a filler and maybe if I put up a short update like uh, new legends or new final editions or something like that, you'll have something to watch uh, with those because those will be those are short kind of regular videos that I post. These these will be kind of a regular. You'll get two regular series videos maybe a day or something like that. But we are going with the Texas Longhorns. Uh, this is just as if Mac Brown uh, retired a year earlier and they hired me to be their coach. Um, the goal is to bring them back to. Uh, prominence like from 2003 to 2009 as they were at least a 10 win team every single year and they were winning uh, bowl games and the big 12 uh, so that's what we're that's what I'm aiming for um, no five and seven seasons no eight and five anything under 10 wins is a uh, bad season it's a loss it's a it's a bad season for uh, th this series because I got to give myself a challenge doing the Texas Longhorns. I thought about doing teams such as Middle Tennessee State. Uh, who else? Middle Tennessee State, uh, Vanderbilt, Missouri, uh, Kansas. Uh, who else? Utah, Northern Illinois. I'm trying to do something like with getting Northern Illinois to the national championship because Northern Illinois is pretty good with Jordan Lynch. Uh, maybe doing... Let's see here I can't even I don't even know any other teams that uh, maybe Kentucky some of those bottom teams in the SEC uh, but I decided to go with Texas I may start up another series later maybe when I get like three national championships in a row or something crazy like that at Texas um, I'll come I'll do another team because as of right now there's no NCAA tournament or not tournament, NCAA uh, game coming out uh, that, that I wouldn't be surprised if that changed, but uh, as of right now, there's not. So I might be playing NCAA for all, for a little while now. But um, I was just going through here and redshirting pretty much the uh, basic what you normally redshirt the ones at the bottom, your freshmen uh, that you're hoping to develop uh, and uh, have later. Um, kind of sad that Mike Davis um, is going to go pro after this year, but I still will have Jackson Shipley, which that'll be nice. And so mostly it was just freshmen at positions where I had more than at the uh, offensive line is where I had more than two people. Um, in most other places, it was just uh, they look like skilled position players and they're not skilled. They look like skilled players that uh, were freshmen or sophomores that needed that made that could uh, they weren't starters, but would be in the future. That's what I did. The biggest one I did was uh, um, Jonathan Gray who was the starting running back, but I decided to redshirt him because I could use the, uh, I could use Malcolm Brown and Joe Bergeron as the, uh, as my running backs. And, uh, I don't know why I didn't, I, I was trying to decide whether to redshirt both of the corners because, uh, I have pretty good corners, so I wasn't too worried about it. And see, I, I was, I was really debating it, but, I didn't, uh, don't have an extra punter, uh, don't have an extra kicker, but I do need to uh, look into getting a new kicker because Anthony Farah is um, going to uh, either go pro or graduate, uh, depends. Uh, but I'm going to hop into custom schedules here, and we're adding a new opponent to the schedule. We're going to take New Mexico State out. Uh, we're going to make our schedule just that much tougher. We're already playing ranked number 21, Kansas State, number 13, Oklahoma, number 17, TCU, number 16, Oklahoma State, uh, Baylor, Texas Tech, both teams that were ranked at one point uh, during this regular season, the real college regular season, including Baylor going to uh, a BCS bowl game. Uh, but I, was, I, I thought about this long and hard, but I decided to go with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish as my new uh, as kind of a new rival or a team that we play once a year or yearly, annually, however you want to say it. Uh, 
swapping back and forth since they just since uh, after next year they drop Michigan as a regular rival uh, until at least the 2020-2021 season. Uh, I decided that maybe they could pick one up with Texas since Michigan picked one up with uh, UCLA, uh, but that doesn't start for a while. But uh, Notre Dame can find and play us earlier, uh, even though they were going to join the ACC conference. Uh, quote unquote, the ACC conference are not actually going to be a part of it. They're just going to be playing people from the ACC. But in this franchise or in this dynasty next year, I will be adding Rutgers and Maryland to the Big Ten. I will be probably adding Notre Dame to the ACC just so that they play the ACC in their schedule because I don't think uh, that NCAA is set up like that because this game came out not way before, but I think it came out just so it, they were done developing this part of it before that uh, that stuff was announced and different stuff like that. But I'm going to go into the roster here and tell you kind of the guys that uh, that you should look for look out for in the uh, during this what you want to call it, this dynasty, uh, the first year, just different players that uh, are key players are going to have big-time big, big time opportunities to shine, the best players on the team, uh, just different stuff like that. So obviously Jalen Overstreet, the talented fr- redshirt freshman, uh, who is going to be the star quarterback, and if something unforeseen happens to him, uh, we got Colt McCoy back, Eric, not Colt, Case McCoy backing him up, and then David Ash backing Case up. Or if uh, Jalen Overstreet has a bad game or anything like that, uh, we can just bring in uh, a veteran, Case McCoy. Uh, fullback, we only got one, uh, so he's not too exciting. But we got two high-power wide receivers in Jackson Shipley and Mike Davis. Uh, the offensive line is stout. We got Cedric Reed, Jackson Jeffcoat, who is just a monster uh, right end uh, as the D-line. Cornerbacks, we've got the best cornerback on the team in Carrington Bindum. Uh, this is his final season at Texas, so we got to make sure to uh, to send him out with uh, with some good wins. Quandre Diggs is a junior and probably one of the best players on the team. Uh, definitely my favorite player on Texas. And then senior kicker Anthony Farrow will be huge uh, because... Uh, with those sliders the way I have them, I did tweak them just a little bit to make kicking a little bit harder and stuff like that. Kicking is going to be a big deal uh, in tight games and stuff like that. Uh, but there you go. You see DeJay Johnson and now Kendall Sanders is actually the fourth running back, just in case anything unforeseen happens to all our players. Uh, but Carrington Bindum is going to be kind of the leader of the secondary with Quandre Diggs. Quandre Diggs is the captain, but uh, Carrington Bindum is the unsung hero of that defense. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited as I am to start this series. Uh, it's just something different from my regular Mutt content. Uh, while I'll still upload a lot of Mutt and I'll upload gameplays of Mutt, uh, this just gives me something else to upload, something cool. I love editing this gameplay, this type of stuff and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you have it, and I will catch you guys in week one where we will take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Peace out, guys.